Big win this past weekend. How's the team feeling heading into uh, another busy week? I think we're feeling really good. I think we're all happy with how the weekend went and how we performed as a team and to get the third uh, straight win at home. So I think we're all pleased with that. But then, of course, we celebrate and then it's back to work for the for the next game. Just looking to the next game against North Carolina, uh, what are you kind of looking from them uh, as kind of key points? Yeah, I think we know that they're a good team and we've got to play them before in the Challenge Cup, so we kind of know what to expect. Um, but we know that they're a good team and that they're dangerous and have solid um, forwards. But, um, yeah, just if we can contain them and then just do what we did at home, I think we'll be fine. How do you kind of translate that kind of form at home into a, an away match, especially kind of not really knowing how things are and, and different kind of te temperament? Yeah, I think it's um, that's something that we need to learn because we've been struggling um, away. So we've done great at home. I think it's, you know, we're comfortable in our own environment, but then it's how can we take that to um, the, the away environments. And I think that's something that we're still learning how to do as a team and still learning to play our best even when we're away. For you personally, uh, the, the growth from the, the start of the season to, to now has been very noticeable. I think Seb talked about it after the game last game. But for your, from your perspective, what, what's been the kind of, contributing factor to, to that kind of comfortability on the field for you? Yeah, I think I kind of put some pressure on myself at the beginning to try to come out and just be like the best and try to stand out. Um, and I think maybe that pressure got to me a little bit. So I think just like meshing with the team and, um, you know, taking that pressure off myself and just playing how I know I can play. Um, and yeah, I think it just goes back to the team and the staff is just like we're all trying to get on the same page. And I think that's tough at the f beginning of the season. But now we're all kind of learning each other and kind of understand what we're trying to do every game. So it's made it easier. Is there like a moment that you kind of told yourself, like, I need to give myself some slack and, and just kind of play? Not an exact moment, but I think just like you can feel that pressure, like I said, that I put on myself. And so I think just noticing that and just taking that pressure away. There's no reason to put pressure on yourself because then it only negatively impacts how you play. So not an exact moment, but just, yeah, just being confident in my abilities. Have you found yourself just enjoying the game more now? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think just with the – we have a great team and we all get along really well, which is nice. And, um, yeah, I think just as time goes on, you get more comfortable. And so it becomes more fun. And especially when we win important games too, that makes it more fun too. In terms of, of the back line with, with you and Meg and then and Kylie and, and uh, Haley, as well as Anna, um, it's been consistent, you know, from, from game to game, it's been the same back four and goalkeeper. How much has that helped just in terms of, uh, for you and, and your growth, just being comfortable and, and feeling, uh, I guess, protected from everyone, knowing mm -hmm. that you're kind of knowing where every other player is going to be and just 
having that kind of understanding? Yeah, it was tough in the beginning because, you know, you don't know the players very well. So I think just building those relationships on and off the field is really important. And I think, um, you know, me being the youngest and having some veterans on the back line, I think, has helped me tremendously because they have so much experience. And um, I know I can count on them and look to them to help me through those moments, um, you know, in my rookie season. All right, Seb. Um, obviously, another big win this past weekend, three games at home in a row now. Um, what, what do you feel like is, has been the key contributing factor for, for these games at home, especially against the, the top tier opponents that has, has kind of worked for you? Yeah, um, you know, it's funny because we've, we've beaten the top three teams and, and lost to the bottom three teams, so we're trying to figure that out. Um, but I think home field advantage is massive. You know, I said that from the very start of the season is that we had to make this a fortress. Uh, perform in front of our fans because they play, they pay their hard-earned money to come here and watch us play and we have to perform in front of them. So I think the environment, the the energy that everyone brings at home um, is inspiring the players to go out there and perform and get, and get the win. So we have to transfer that into away games as well. We have to pick up um, away points also. So again, we have a good opportunity uh, this weekend um, to, to build on what we did uh, this past weekend. You mentioned beating the top and losing to the bottom. Now you're playing a team that's basically smack dab in the middle. Hmm. Um, how do you prepare for a team like North Carolina that, that has a lot of quality on the field, but um, you know, hasn't gotten the kind of success to the top teams or the lack of at the bottom team. Yeah, they're a, they're a good team. They're a good footballing team. They like to play, um, you know, from back to front, use all their players in the attack. Um, you know, they are coming off the back of a, a comprehensive win against Chicago uh, away from home um, and then obviously Challenge Cup also. So they're full of confidence and, um you know, they, they're going to be a tough team to uh, to beat, but we have to be prepared. We have to, uh, you know, have a game plan and find areas that we can capitalize on. Um, we may have to give up a little bit of possession um, like we did against Portland, but we'll we'll be ready for what they bring. And, you know, again, we, we want to go out there and win as many games as we can. And, you know, this is a team that's... Um, you know, just above us in the table. You know, that's our motivation. We want to, we want to keep looking upwards and seeing where we can uh, get points and be in a position come the end of the season um, where we're we're fighting for a playoff. So that's our motivation. That's where we want to be towards the end of the year. And you know, we've got we we're now at the halfway mark. And you know, there's uh, <laughs> there's not many games coming. Um, you know, uh, you know we've played half the games now, so we have to we have to pick up points where we can. Just talking about the the home form for you guys, it's been fairly successful over the last couple of games. How do you translate that to an away game like in in Cary in North Carolina, um, especially over the last couple of away games that it hasn't really been there? Yeah. Um, you know, it's difficult in this league. You know, with the travel and you know you 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 going through time zones um, you know the the scheduling is also difficult but you know this is this is why we play the game we want these challenges we we have to heavily rely on our roster as well so <clears throat> we have to make sure players can come in and make an impact whether they're starting or coming off the bench and you know we we've had the success of going to San Diego, and you know it was a it was a tough environment to play in, especially after you know the form that we were in. But we've shown that we are capable of doing it, so we have to use that um, that moment where we were successful and transfer that into you know the the coming games uh, away from home.